Good morning, friends. Let's spend the day together. My morning routine is typically the same. I get up, I wake my daughter up, and I wake my husband up. And yes, y'all heard that right. I got married. My husband and I got married on New Year's Eve. But once I wake both my daughter and my husband up, I go ahead and usually get his breakfast started and his cup of coffee. The man has to have his coffee or he cannot function. This morning was kind of a light breakfast. He said he wasn't super hungry. He just wanted like half a bagel and a banana. So that's what I made him. He's diabetic, so he's trying to watch what he's eating and make healthier choices. He's a type two diabetic, so we're trying to watch the sugar intake. I even went out and bought him this zero sugar coffee creamer because that is his favorite flavor, but there's so much sugar in the regular one. Once his breakfast is done, I let the dog back in and I feed him. He is a six month old mutt, but he's adorable. His name is Finn. And if you're like me, I have to start a load of laundry before I leave for work. Now it's time to take and drop my daughter off at school. And then I hit the interstate for my 20-ish minute ride to work. I'm typically the first one in the office. If you've seen my TikToks, then you know I'm always there early. So I'm just putting my lunch in the fridge and then it is time to head to my desk and get my work started. Today was a lot of data entry because I had to get my payroll done because I ended up having to leave work early, but you'll see that a little later on. I work for a paint and drywall company and we subcontract a lot of our work. So there are about 15 to 20 different people that I have to do payroll for, for multiple houses. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it can be very time consuming and very tedious, but I will say I love my job. I've been here almost seven years come July, so I think it's a good fit for me. I think the only real aggravating part of my job is we work with a lot of home builders, so they're constantly changing things in their specs. So that translates over into our office and once we already have job files created, we have to go back in and fix the change orders on our purchase orders and it's a lot. Like I said, this particular day has been a lot of data entry and updating job files and updating budgets because you have to keep everything right on track or one little thing can go wrong and it's a whole snowball effect. work day I usually take an hour lunch I leave the office that way I can just get out and decompress but like I said I have to leave early and as to help my boss and to help myself I do not leave for lunch whenever I leave the office early so I'm just enjoying my leftover spaghetti from the night before and again doing some more paperwork and I also had to get our checks ready for our subcontractors. So that's a little process in itself, but at least everybody's happy and I know everybody's getting paid. So now it's time to leave the office and I have a doctor's appointment. If you have seen my TikTok or my Instagram over the past three weeks, I have had severe gallbladder attacks that have landed me in the emergency room twice. So today I'm meeting with a surgeon to discuss possible gallbladder removal. I'm not super excited about the thought of surgery, but my mom told me I should expect it because it's kind of hereditary on her side of the family. Everyone's had theirs removed. I'm walking out of the hospital right now. I just left a surgeon appointment or surgery appointment, whatever you want to call it, um, for the last three weeks. I have had gallbladder issues. The emergency room doctors have told me twice that I have a big gallstone and I have multiple like little pebble sized gallstones. So I could have 
surgery and have those taken out. Well, have my gallbladder taken out. <sighs> it is a weird feeling knowing that you go and make an appointment with somebody to cut you open. But I would much rather do that than continue to be in so much So pain. now I'm home and I'm just gonna throw together a quick supper. It is nothing special, great and grand. We are just having hamburger helper. I didn't take out meat to defrost. So I'm just cooking up some of these little frozen burger patties and using that for my hamburger. It worked well, it was easy peasy. It didn't taste any different. So this is what we had for supper. My family ate it, <laughs> nobody complained. And once supper was done, we had to make a quick run to the grocery store because we were out of stuff to drink. And y'all, there is my handsome husband. I'll try to get him in a video and show you a face shot. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will definitely be back with more day in the life videos.